equally so, Big Mama. Some of those who sold you out to the regime are here. Are Mama, some of those who sold out to the regime are here. And what is funny, Mama, is that they are crying the loudest, more than all of us who cared for you. <laughs> Mama, Mama, the UDF cabal is here. The cabal that rejected you and disowned you and sent you to the brutal apartheid regime is here. When when they called, when they called the press conference during the, the dark days of apartheid, when they called the press conference, when the regime was prepared to kill and said in that press conference, you are not part of them, they are here today. Mama, why did the UDF call a press conference to disassociate themselves from you? Because you were never a member of UDF. You were a member of the ANC. You were the only one who was pronouncing ANC in the 80s. Why did the UDF see the need to disassociate themselves with a person who was not their member? Mama, you never told me how we must treat them when they come here. I'm waiting for a signal, ma. Mama. Nomza. Mama Nomzamo. All those who resigned from the NEC of the Women's League because they said they cannot be led by a criminal. They are here. Some of them, some of them, some of them are playing prominent roles in your funeral, in a funeral of a person they called a criminal, in a funeral of a person they were ready to humiliate in front of the whole world. They are here, man. Ma. Ma, Ma, I'm waiting for a signal on how we should treat them. Mama, the same people who shot us by not allowing you to pay tribute to the late Bidamu Kaba at his funeral, despite the fact that you molded his politics in the South African Youth Congress and the ANC Youth League, they are here. They prevented you from addressing Bidamu Kaba's funeral, despite the fact that you were the president of the Women's League and the Women's League was on the program. And our cries as the youth activists for you to speak fell on deaf ears. Life is so unfair, ma, because we see these people amongst us here today. We don't know what to do because we don't want to be accused of being insensitive and disrespecting your dignified funeral. We mention some of these few incidences just to make them aware. We mention these incidences, few incidences, just to make them aware that we know what they did to you. They must never think we've forgotten what they did to you. We see you in your beautiful suits, betrayals, sellouts. We see you. Ma. Ma. Mama. The widows of Marikana are still in tears. What must we tell them, ma? We, together with you, promised them a quiet visit. They are still waiting. What do I tell them when the situation is like this? What about those who killed their husbands of Marikana widows for selfish profits? What do we do to them? Tell us, ma. Give us a sign, or else we will have to come back because we don't have answers without you. Those who isolated you in Marikana, they are here. Mama, you said to us, we must come back to the ANC. We heard you, but which ANC do we go to? Of the same people who sold you out, of the same people who are ready to give you to the enemy. Mama, why did you leave us? Booyah, ma. Ma, come back and leave after giving us a signal. Fellow fighters, let us mourn the death of our mother in a dignified manner. Let us display the highest form of discipline. Let us not be reactive. We don't need these people to tell us who Winnie Mandela is. Winnie Mandela is our mother. We know her. We don't need George Fivers to tell us about Winnie Mandela. We don't need Stratcom to tell us about Winnie Mandela. 
we will celebrate Winnie Mandela forever, for as long as we are still alive. If it's true that the ANC honors Winnie Mandela, name the Cape Town Airport Winnie Mandela Airport. Thank you.